<laughs> Dream Team with Brill Cream. Style and control. something to eat? No, thanks. I don't think I could keep it down, to be honest. Oh, I'm sure you'll be fine. Have you phoned your mum and dad yet? No, no, I haven't. Well, I might not get my game. I mean, I'm only in the squad. Still. Well done. Bet Lucy's proud. Yes, she'll be there. I'll see her after. Well, good luck. to Harchester Sound FM Sport with Lucy Patcham. Premiership strugglers Harchester United include youth team captain Dean Hopnell in a squad of 17 for tonight's third round Coca-Cola Cup clash against Chelsea. Well, if you've forgotten anything, I can always push it on. Sure, you're not a million miles away. You'll be fine. You'll be just fine. I have every confidence in you. I hear they do have shops in England, Mum. So long as the digs are comfortable, that's the main thing. Harchester Chelsea kicks off at five and we'll be covering the game throughout the evening. Lucy Patcham, Harchester Sound, FM Sport. Well done. Tony's just found in now. He's got food poisoning, so he can't cover the match. Oh, right. Good for you, though. You'll have to do it. What? The Chelsea game. You'll have to cover the Chelsea game. Really? That's fantastic. I won't let you down, Bob. You better not. <laughs> right, bit of hush, please. Look, I know you're all excited because you're going to a match later, but shut it. Right. Just one thing. Who did the showers today? Ah, the Spice Boys. <laughs> <laughs> Who did the showers nearest the door? What a surprise. Sean Hockney, please. Come with me. <laughs> Can you see anything in that plug hole, Sean? Yes. And what can you see? A plaster. Now then, should that plaster be there, Sean? No, Frank. No, Frank. That plaster should not be there because it was your job to clean the showers. Pick it up. Give us a deal. Thank you. Now, 
Yeah. I've just had a go at Sean for leaving this plaster in the plug hole. But my argument with him is not about this plaster. It's about my favourite word, awareness. Last Saturday, I told you to mark their centre-back at corners. What did you do? I thought Tommy was doing it. And? He wasn't in the squad. Exactly. You just decided it wasn't your responsibility. It was boring. It's the same with this. You can't see the connection, can you? Until you do, you haven't got a chance. Unlike your brother. Now, I know you're fed up with me comparing you to him, but I only say it because it's true. Dean thinks like a professional. You don't. Sort your head out, Sean, and you might have half a chance. Oi, oi. It's the new boy. Fresh from the youth team. Oh, psyched up for the big match. Nah. Still, don't sweat too much, though, eh? You might not be playing. Zoe! Do me a favour, will you? I've got to go in early tonight and Dad's not back, so will you do your own teas? Mum, I'm working. There's some waffles in the freezer and some eggs. Well, where is Dad? Oh, great. It's Zoe's cooking. Still stuck in France. He's phoned a hundred times today, but he keeps breaking up. Four days away for one football match. Anyway, I'm off. I'll see you tomorrow. Be good. Kiss, kiss. Babe, I'll wait for you forever. Yes, you will. See everyone else tomorrow. Bye-bye. Or will it be number two? The voluptuous Zoe. Take your brain cell out of my space. Come on, Sean. Frank will cut your bits off. Dan, so what's your brother doing, Sean? Is my brother doing something tonight? Come on, Sean. Can I have really show my waffles? Stephen, you can have what you want, cos you're doing it yourself. Hello, and a very warm welcome to Addison Road for this afternoon's... Cru no? It's this evening's crucial Coca-Cola third round tie against Chelsea. Lucy Patcham, Harchester Sound, FM Sport. About to blow a promising career. Hi, good afternoon. Connor McCarthy, Luton reporting. Yes, sir, if you'd like to place your bags on the tray for me. Dean! Dean! What are you doing here? I'm covering the match tonight. Alan reckons he's got food poisoning from Italy, Tony's mum's ill, so now I'm on. You're joking, that's brilliant. Oh, don't, I'm terrified. Yes, yeah, so am I. Why? What, are you playing? Um, find out in a couple of hours. Yeah, we're still going out after, whatever. Whatever. Hey, good luck. Yeah, and you. Yeah, I'll be there. Good looking one with number 20 Tony's back. Dad, are you sure? It's not much, son, but it'll take you one. Go on with you. Go on. Come on, lads, all right, get yourself set down. OK, boys, that's the team. Virtually the same side that played the other night. Sorry, really, for you, Fletch. I'm giving you another chance up there because I want you to do a specific job for us today. Moro, you'll be sitting in the middle there. Just want you staying in there. When Zola drops off the front, you get round him. That's the only change, little man, Dino. You happy with that? Big chance for your day, son. You won't let us down, will you? If you get your chance to go on, no nerves, just get on with it. You'll win us the game if necessary, OK? Good lad. OK, lads, get yourself right for it. Let's go out and give them plenty. Everything's gone. Dino, you're on, mate. Right, mate? Yeah. See Fletcher's looking off you. Just want to wish you all the best. Yes, I will play the game, not the occasion. Cheers. Vincent's put the puffs perfume again. How do you think he's feeling? Raring to go. Bricks. Sean. Bricks. Hey, Fletch, you know you got on corners. You know you got on corners. Right, come on, lad. 
Let's get out some days. Come on. Come on. It's a sellout here at Addison Road for this Coca-Cola Cup special, and Chairman Michael Jacobs arrives to take his seat at Harchester United's biggest game of the year so far. The crowd welcomes the teams onto the pitch, where the main piece of team news is that Ron Atkinson includes youth team captain Dean Hocknell tonight. There he is. Come on, Dean, you lucky kid. Jealous? <laughs> Me? Jealous? What do you think? May I have your attention, please, with Mr. Des Baker, meeting Connor McCarthy. Kindly contact the airport information desk. Mr. Des Baker. And Harchester name an unchanged side from that beaten 3-0 by Everton last week, with Carl Fletcher still leading the attack. Youth team striker Dean Hocknell has been drafted into the squad and is on the bench. Gianfranco Zola's back from World Cup duty in row. So Carl Fletcher prepares to kick off. An important game this for Harchester, a five o'clock kickoff on police advice. Harchester kicking from right to left in the first half. Long ball forward by Styles, and there's Fletcher offside. Only one goal from ten starts this season after scoring 35 in the first division last campaign. Chelsea have the free kick. This is their first real attack of the game now, Chelsea. This is Roberto Di Matteo for Chelsea. He's round Adams. Oh, it's a sensational goal! Chelsea scores for the Italian international. Roberto Di Matteo. A quite outstanding strike for Chelsea. And Harchester knew that goal had been coming for the last five minutes. As Di Matteo cut inside and... After the tone. Hello? Is anyone there? No? OK, look, it's me. I'm in a payphone slid in France. I'm just phoning to say I hope you got the messages about the new boy, Connor McCarthy, due at the airport at 7 o'clock. Hey, little man, start warming up. Come on, get yourself ready. Dean's warming up. He's bringing him on. No, he can't be, you reckon? Well, what we should do is take Fletch off and put Dean on. Chelsea leading by a goal to nil now. There's five minutes to go to half-time, and here come Chelsea on the counter-attack. Petrescu's calling for the ball. Hughes breaks to his right. Here's Mark Hughes, and there's a goal! Stunning strike by Mark Hughes, and what can Ron Atkinson do now to save this desperate situation for Harchester United? They're 2-0 behind, and surely going out of the competition. And here comes Hocknell. He's coming on, this is it, lads. The moment of truth. Come on, Dean! Dino! 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 Ron Atkinson needs to inject life into his team now. He's doing so by bringing off Carl Fletcher, who's looked completely out of sorts. Now we see Hocknall, the 18-year-old from Tyneside, walking up. It's a straight swap up front. Oh, and Fletcher does not look happy. Mullers to take the free kick for Harchester. It's a long ball forward. Reeves manages to keep it in play. He finds Lord, who rolls into the path of Hotel. Oh, it's a shot only inches over the bar. Oh, he's rubbish. Well, if your brother keeps playing like that, we're still in with a chance. You should have put that one away, though, Frank. I'd like to see you try. There's the first half whistle. It's Harchester nil, Chelsea two. Can the Dragons pull this one out of the fire? Welcome back to Addison Road, where it's Harchester nil, Chelsea two. Jody Morris comes on for Chelsea, but the pressure is all on Harchester and Ron Atkinson. Sean, Bible says your brother scores. <laughs> You're on. 
glad to say you've still got faith in your brother. Oh, you can take a brotherly loyalty too far, Frank. I'm not turning down easy money. Hocknell ready to go as Chelsea get the second half underway. Zola knocks it back to Frank Sinclair. as Muller prepares to take this free kick for Harchester, who trail by two goals to nil. Hocknell will be the target of this free kick. Hocknell's in there! Hocknell has scored! Will be for Harchester United, but it will be too late. You want me to fight <laughs> It's his first senior goal on his first senior... Sorry, appearance. sorry, quick! And Ron Atkinson is absolutely delighted. Oh, it's Dean, he's scored a blinder. I don't care what Dean's doing. I am sick and tired of hearing about football and stupid footballers every day of my life. Hey, give me that back. If you turn that up again, I will personally put your head through the screen. Hiya. Hi. I've been given this address, although I was supposed to be picked up at the airport. Sorry, I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, um, Conor McCarthy from Harchester United. Well, I will be tomorrow, like, going to start. Yeah, well, you're not staying here because we're full up. Um, but I was sent a letter, uh, Des Baker? Yes, he lives here, but you don't. Uh, now, the club's made a mistake. If I were you, I'd go back down there and they'll sort it all out for you. All right, bye. One minute into injury time now. Wise to Le Berth. It's all over. There's no time left. Harchester are out of the cup. Ron Atkinson leaves the Harchester bench. It ends 2-1 to Chelsea. It was a last-minute goal from Dean Hocknell, but it wasn't enough to save the game. But what a debut from the former youth team captain. The fans are venting their anger on chairman Michael Jacobs as Harchester's nightmare season continues. Great goal from Dean, though, eh, Sean? Yeah, not bad for his debut. Not bad at all. Yeah, you're all right then. Yeah, I'll see you later, yeah. OK, a dream debut of sorts. Can you talk us through that goal? Uh, I can't, actually. I really, really can't remember what happened. When are you going to motivate these players? When are they going to start performing? I told you at the start of the season, these lads ain't good enough. Get your hand in your pocket, Chairman, or else we're going down. Cheers. All right, Dino. Well hey. done. Cheers. Fantastic, man. Thanks, man. How does it feel? <laughs> well, you know, we lost, but I'm feeling super sunny. All right, Jamie here. Well done, man. Cheers, man. So, are you going to be too rich and famous to talk to us now, then? Well, you'll have to speak to my agent about well, that. Well done, anyway. Great goal. Are you spoke to Dad yet? I'll phone him later. <laughs> Have a look at black dress going up. Excuse me, boys. Hi there. I'm Sean. I can't remember where we met, but I'd never forget a figure like yours. Let go of my hand. Sharp girl, my favourite sharp and fit. Maybe you'd like to accompany me to the dance floor. I think I could show you a thing or two. Only in your dreams. I think you are, actually. Hi. How are you? Yeah, sorry I'm hanging so late. Yeah, I'm getting on dead well. Yeah, the guys are really friendly. Hiya. Hello. Where is 
himself quite a fan club then. Yeah, you scored a goal and everyone wants to be a friend. Is it your first game tonight? For the first team, yeah. Oh, big Davey, you must have been nervous. Yeah, but you try and take it in your stride, don't you? Listen, gonna buy you a drink? Yeah. Well, I'm a long way from home, Mum. That's probably why I signed it. I'm a long way from home. Oh, it's the best feeling in the world, man. You've got, like, 15,000 people, and they're all really ecstatic because of something that you've done. It makes you want to cry. You can't because you're buzzing and you're excited. And you know what I mean? A bit more exciting than this place, though. Listen, do you fancy going somewhere else? What did you have in mind? Oh, no more money. Right, I'll ring. How did this happen? Harchester United Football Club, please. Oh, Miss Rackinson. Hi, I'm Connor. Connor McCarthy. Um, Look, son, not saying... now. I've got a lot on my plate. I'm going home, and I would suggest you do the same. This is big time, baby. You help yourself to drinks. I play for the club. Mm. Oh, look at this. This is beautiful. Mwah. I suit trophies. That's what I like. But I don't want no 15 minutes. I want 90 minutes of passion. See? 90 minutes. Past his bedtime, isn't it? All this excitement. Very best of dream teams, your permanent six o'clock fixture from now on. Who says there's no decent footy during the summer? <laughs> Next, though, comedy featuring an officer, a gentleman, oh, and Charlie Sheen in an infectious friends. If I call you sugar. If you call me honey, does this mean you got a hand in my face? If you take my mind... So, Gary Lennox has got a girlfriend. Just slipped your mind last night. Look about last night. Look, are you going back to Atletico Madrid? 
That's quite possible, yeah. And have you got any final parting words for your Harchester fans? <laughs> yeah, hasta luego. <laughs> Bob, I've got it. No, 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 it's fantastic stuff. Big Ron's given me an exclusive. Yeah. He's off to Atletico Madrid. And what about tonight, Dean? Have you plans to see her? No. Good. Look, I don't think you'll go down. Not now you said sorry. And what's Mr. Patcham speaking? He's not coming. I saw you, sorting for a liquor draw. Is that true? I wish when I'd sent you away, you'd stayed away. How do you plead? Guilty. I love it. Mm, it just seems like an awful lot of money for Lucy to be spending. And since when has she signed her name with a G and lots of kisses? You've got to pull your weight, otherwise you might as well go back to where you've come from. Fine. Are you settling in, OK? Everything's fine. You lock Warren up today, and I promise you, you'll ruin his whole life. Yes! 70 hours community service. I think we did very well. Thanks, Frank. Don't let me down. I think I know why you're in such a good mood. I take it Connor didn't stay in your room last night, then? He certainly didn't. Wow. It's just nice to see you and Lucy together again. You're being careful, aren't you, Dean? Yeah. Connor! Connor! Breakfast ready! Georgina. Yes, hello. Look, I've got your little present. Yes, thank you very much. But look, I've got a meeting now. No, no, I can't wait. No, I'll meet you in half an hour. At the, um, outside the training ground. Still got done though, didn't I? Yeah, but community service, no worries. That's not a soft option. That's what probation officer says anyway. Still, what's she know, eh? What do you have to do then? Don't know. It's got better than slopping out every morning. Could be worse. Bit like Eric Cantona, aren't right? <laughs> <laughs> you? Know, you boy a bit of coaching and all. Yeah. 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 Uh, Warren, can I have a quick word in my office? The rest of you, hurry up and get changed. We want to start this practice match as soon as possible. Come on. <laughs> 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 Nice spot. Very romantic. You're late. Stop messing around. What's this supposed to be? I thought you'd like it. Yeah, well, you thought wrong. You thought wrong about a lot of things. I just wanted to buy you something. You're not listening. I don't want you. I don't want anything off you. Don't be buying me no presents. Don't try and come and see me. I'm not interested. Get it through your head. Try and find someone else. Give yourself a break. But I want you. Come in. Come in. Uh, can I help you? Sorry? It's me, you and Linda. Oh. Oh. It's a new mascot, what do you reckon? 
What a very talented girl you are. It's great, isn't it? I think yeah. the marketing potential for this is huge. Uh, it certainly is. The only thing is, it's absolutely boiling in here. Listen, don't worry about that. I think I found somebody daft enough to wear that thing. We wouldn't want your talents hidden away anyway, would we? Oh, cheeky. <gasps> don't get me wrong, mate. I was glad you got a result. I was pleased to be able to help. But I don't want you thinking you've got off lightly. You've still got to get through your community service, because if you don't, you'll be straight in the nick. You understand that, don't you? So from today, Mr. Clean, both on and off the pitch. No more aggro. Particularly when you're away from here, because it doesn't do you any good, does it? You don't let me down. You don't let yourself down, all right? Go on, off you go. Hey, you haven't seen Connor, have you? No. You look knackered. Oh, thanks. Just meant you should go to bed, that's all. Well, I wanted to see Zoe off. Wish her luck. I'm off here. Yeah. Off where? To Pete's, I told you. Hello. Oh, hey. Oh, I see, right. Yeah, sure, sure. So can I go then? Well, uh, yeah, yeah. Don't be too long, though. Okay, I'll see you there. All right, and then uh, thanks again. Yeah. I don't know why you had him. <sighs> look at you. Did it look all right? <laughs> I'll say. Too short. Not if it's a bloke. I think the job's yours. Mum, it's not a bloke. Oh, well, good luck then. Um, that was the club on the phone. They want me down there. Oh, short supporters again. Okay. What about my hair? It is a hairdresser's. No, we're well, here. Let's give it a tweet then. Well, if you're not interested, I'll just. It looks nice. Haven't seen Connor, have you? Sure, you don't want to lift? No, I'm fine, thanks. I need to get my head together, so I'm going to have a walk. Where are you going anyway? Uh, no, no, love, you wouldn't be interested. Too busy being a fashion victim. What do you mean? <laughs> this is what they like in those places. I'm just trying to blend in. Right. Well, listen, good luck with the interview. Hope it goes well. And you, whatever it is you're doing. What do you reckon Connor's been up to then? He's a weird one, man. Not turning up for a match. He's asking for it. Yeah, who needs him? He only got in the way. Oi, Frank doesn't look happy. OK, lads, come in. Quickly. No sign of Connor still? No. Nope. No, we'll have to win without him. Was? You play left side of midfield, Chris, centre, Tomo, right. Now, this may be a practice match this morning, but as far as I'm concerned, it's just as important as any other game we play. That lot over there think they're in for a stroll. We are going to prove them wrong, yeah? yeah? So, remember what we've been working on in training this week. Defensively, we keep a good shape, compress the space when they've got the ball. When we attack, speed of thought, imagination, good first-time passing, yeah? yeah? Right, yeah. I want to see you go out there and ping it about. Enjoy yourself. Go on, off you go. Warren? One or two of the reserve team are bound to try and wind you up about your call business. Do not rise to it. Yes, stay calm, be professional. Go on, off you go. Come on, Ed. What's his problem? Yeah. I haven't seen Connor this morning, have you? No. He's not turned up for work. It's not on, mate. It's not on. Warren, is it? Maybe. Yeah, I thought so. I saw your name in the paper. Wasn't much, but I caught it. Community service, yeah? 
cook my grand's dinner if you like. Oh yeah, hard man. Warren, leave him alone. He's just trying to wind you up. Gemma, when you finish Rosemary's hair, could you do Janet's for me? Sure. Thank you. Sometimes. Nervous? Yes. Is um she in a good mood? Look, you'll be fine. I know you will. Besides, I'm relying on you. Liven this place up a bit. Look, she's in the back, so let's go for it. Go on then. Braver. Get out of bed the wrong side this morning or something. Break it, break it. Oh, Take him out, man, I would. Nah. Right. Not worth it, man. I got a good play. Well done. Hard game. You handled it well. Particularly you. I saw Braveheart winding you up. It was nice to see you keep your cool. Good lad. Now, the reason I liked the way you played this morning was because when you were under pressure, you used the ball intelligently. Yeah? Because it was a practice match, you all looked nice and composed on the ball. And that, that's a quality we need to take into proper games. You look confident. Were you confident? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's great. OK. I was proud of all of you this morning. Even you. <laughs> OK, let's crack on. If anyone sees Connor, boy, show him to my office. No wonder you're on earth. Stephen, don't do that in the house. Mum will have a fit. You're safer in here than out on the street. I could get killed. Mm, sounds like an opportunity missed him in. Where's Dad? Uh, down at the club. Why? I don't know. Oh, I got the job, by the way. Great. Hello, oh, Steve. Is your dad here? No, he's down at the ground. Hi, Zoe. Hiya. It's Connor about. No, I haven't seen him all day. Is anything wrong? <sighs> he didn't come to work today. I'm... I know he's feeling a bit down. He didn't say anything to you, did he? To me, no. No, we haven't really spoken much. Oh, maybe your dad knows something. Is it the ground, you say? Yeah. I don't know why, though. Oh, well, just tell him I'll call, OK? OK. Bye. Not again. 
Don't you ever learn. Actually, I'm here to see Dad. I just saw you drive up. Oh. Well, just stay away from me. That's what I came to tell you. You're right. I realise that now. I've been really stupid. But I'm not going to stand in your way any longer. If Lucy's the one you want, then I've got to live with that. I won't say anything. Really? Cross my heart. I still think we could have had a chance, though. Who knows? Maybe you might live to regret it. You had your chance, Dean. Now you've blown it. That's what I like to think, anyway. Maybe. Look after yourself. And you. Dean, you haven't seen Connor, have you? No. You're playing. I miss at home. I don't know why, but I had a feeling you like playing away. This morning. Well, he's on his best behaviour, isn't he? Good well, if you ask me. Who's he got to, anyway? Duties. I thought it was Connor today. Still hasn't turned up. Frank's out looking for him now. He's probably still sulking about Zoe's right hook. I'll handle this. Connor, where the heck are you? What do you mean you're leaving? You co Con Oh, Connor, this isn't because of... Connor? Connor! He's gone. I gathered that. No, he's leaving. He's going back to Ireland. He's at the train station. What a prat. We'd better tell Dad. What station's he at? Oh, I don't know. Oh. 1471. I often use it after you've been on the phone. I'd like to know who you're going out with. Mum! Mum! What? What's happened? It's Connor. He's gone. Technically, he's still going. He's at the station on his way back to Ireland. Connor is why? I don't know. He just is. We've got to do something. Well, where's your father? He's still at the club. He must be watching the game. All right, um... Zoe, get down there and tell your dad what's happened. Right. Don't mention it to anyone else at the club. Right. Not yet. Stephen, get my robe. Oh, see if we can sort this mess out ourselves. Oh, and take a cab! Get some money out of my purse! Can I go? No! I'll never get to have any fun. <laughs> is there any news on Connor? Nothing. And what an historic day for newly promoted Harchester United. This is their first ever meeting with Liverpool at Addison Road. How was he the last time you saw him? Oh, you know, he's a strange one, isn't he? It's hard to know what he's thinking. They're trying to get all the Des all day. Seems to have disappeared as well. Oh, you do think he's all right, don't you? Oh, I don't know. Look, if there's anything I can do, I don't know there what... There is I'm... a favour you can do for me, actually. I've been told that Des is inside this stadium somewhere, but I can't find him. You couldn't have a scout around for me, could you? What, now? It's important. McAteer trying to pick out Fowler. Law wins it back for Harchester United. If I miss anything... I appreciate it, mate. In there. McNeil, Archester try to stay on side, and Best is through here. Now can he finish? Oh, he can! Archester United, bottom of the table, have incredibly scored against Liverpool. What are you doing here? Something wrong? I'm looking for Dad. It's Connor. He's gone back to Ireland. And what's it got to do with you? What? You feel guilty? Uh, me? I think some of the blame for this can be laid at your door. Me? What are you talking about? When he's a wimp, he's bald, it. let him go back to Ireland. <laughs> Very helpful, Sean. We could at least try finding out what his problems are. Listen to her. What are you? Are you some psychologist now? Do what's this? On the couch with Zoe Baker? Now, that. Oh, that's a lovely touch. This is purely for Liverpool. 
Thomas, 1-1. Liverpool are level, although that has to go down as a goalkeeping mistake against Carl Banks, the Harchester United goalkeeper. And close to half-time, it's Harchester 1, Liverpool 1. You don't know what you're talking about, Sean, as usual. I find living with you more... You're spoiled. You are spoiled. I am not spoiled. The biggest problem you have is waiting for the bathroom in the morning. You have no idea. You don't even try to think. Background, you should see where some of the players come from, man. Crap homes, no jobs. I'm not saying I understand completely, but he's come to England alone. At least you had Dean. All oh, right, yes, I had Dean. And do you have any idea what that was like? Constantly being compared to your older brother, sitting in the stand while Frank's look going on at the Wonder Boy and how he's doing a fantastic job on the field. And do you see me running away? Do you see me packing my bag and running back to my mum? No. Do you see me chickening out? No, because I'm not a quitter. You don't know anything. Because you're spoiled, snobby, and you're frigid. What did you say? Background. You couldn't understand Connor's background. What did you just say? Frigid. You're frigid. <laughs> Time at Addison Road, Harchester 1, Liverpool 1. Good team performance and a great goal. Sean's going to be sick and miss that one. You know, I used to send him off more often, Frank. Does wonders for our boys. Excuse me. Hello there. Um, could you call Des Baker on the tannoy, please? Who? Des Baker. Zoe, what is wrong? It's Connor. He's run away. He's gone home. He's gone back to Ireland? Why? We've got to get to the train station now. <laughs> I can't just go. I'm in the middle of something. I can't let the club down. <laughs> oh, losing one of their players isn't letting them down, I suppose. <sighs> Look, Frank's been round to the house. He's been looking for Connor all day. What? Frank's been round? Yeah, he sent me look for you. <laughs> Nice disguise. Look, we've got to get there. If we can get to the train station in time, we can bring Connor back and everything will be all right, please. Right, let's go. And you, Sean. Me? Yes, come on. Go. Something weird's going off here. I'm going to go to reception. If Sean brings Des back, don't let them go, even if you have to sit on them, all right? Yeah. So, it's Liverpool to restart the game. 1-1 at half-time. Liverpool have had their problems against lesser sides this season. And here's Berger getting the ball to Ince. Listen, I know it sounds dark, but you haven't seen a large purple dragon anywhere, have you? No. If Dean scores and I miss it again... It's me that should be watching the match. Frank will go spare. He'll probably find me. Yeah, well, if he does, I'll pay. You're coming. I need all the help I can get. Besides, I'm sure Frank won't mind if we bring Connor back. Look, it's not my fault. I didn't tell him to go. We're all to blame, Sean. I've told you that. Come on, Dad. Yes, all right. Sean, what size shoes are you? Eight wide. Great. Hand them over. My shoes? Well, I can't drive in these, can I? Um, Dad, why are you dressed as a dragon? Score more classic dream team, same time tomorrow. Next, though, the first of tonight's top comedy as New York's funniest eat, date and go baby crazy in Friends. Pay your fine for you. Stuff your money, doing you can't buy your way out of this one. Just stay on me life. The last place I expect trouble from is from the daughter of one of my own staff. You betrayed the whole club and you betrayed me. My daughter, Georgina, was in the sports club bar last night. Yeah. I'll see that she gets it. Thanks. Yeah, I'll see that she more than gets it. Oh, God, Lucy, I am so sorry. I have ruined everything.
FM Sports. Colin Hendry has passed a late fitness test and is in the squad for this afternoon's game against Harchester United. Roy Hodgson is still without Kevin Gallagher. Rovers hoping to remain in touch with the leaders as they go into this game, a very important match for both. Morning, Blackburn Rovers. Yes, we do have tickets available for this afternoon's game. Bear with me, sir, and I'll transfer you to the ticket office. It's uh, 11 .99. Yeah, yeah, just the one. OK? Right, lovely. Thanks a lot. Bye. Ordering me something expensive for Christmas, I hope. Uh, no, I'm buying a ticket. I, I thought I'd go up for the game. I hope you don't mind, love. Blackburn? Four hours travel for a 90-minute game? Things always go wrong when we go to Blackburn. You've forgotten 82 and we got food poisoning from the prawn <laughs> sandwich at the station. Yeah, in 85, when Palmer missed the penalty and you went into labour on the train home. 88, we lost 4-0 and the coach broke down on the M6. <laughs> Oh, I just, I just need a change of scenery, you know. I need to get out of the house. I'm worn out with this cold war between those mad Ocknell brothers. I mean, whatever happens at Ewood Park, it can't be any worse than that. I'm glad you came to Blackburn. Thanks. I just hope you haven't knackered me for the match. I'm glad I could put a smile on your face. I haven't seen you smile in so long. I'd forgotten what it looked like. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's been a bad couple of days for you, hasn't it? Well, hopefully with you away for the weekend, Sean will have some time to calm down and, well, this thing will, will blow over. Actually, I was thinking about getting out of his way a bit more permanently. We've spoken about it often enough. Maybe me and you should get a place. Do you mean that? Yeah, why not? Make a fresh start. It's funny how things seem much better from a couple of hundred miles away. I think we should start looking when we get back. Oh. Mm. I do love you. Mm -mm. No time for this. I have to get back to my room, get my things packed up, make sure Fletcher keeps quiet about this. Trust me to have to share a room with the biggest mouth in the team. <laughs> I promise. Trust me. Look, Dad, is this going to take a long time? I've got things to do. Dad? How's school? Hurry. School. All right, is it? Yeah, I suppose so. And the other night, that went OK? The other night? The Annabelles. You know, doing your homework. Yeah, yeah, that was fine. It really helped, actually. I might do it again this week. Hmm. What were you studying? Biology. I think we'll tackle English this time. Hmm. That's interesting. You know, I heard a story myself the other day. It wasn't Shakespeare or anything, but... Uh, made quite an impact on me. Look, Dad, I've got a tennis match. No, no, listen to this. It's about a businessman, see? He's quite successful. He's got a few bob in the bank. But the main thing in his life is his daughter. Gives her everything. Money, credit cards, sends her to a posh school and everything. But here's the twist. When he thinks that his darling daughter is over at a friend's house, studying homework, she isn't. Instead, she's out getting drunk and acting like a tart with half the local football team. Look, Dad, I really don't see what this has got to do with me. If you give it five minutes and then go back down the stairs, because there'll probably be a breakfast by now. OK. See you after the match. Okay, okay. Right. I'll see you later. Good luck. Ta. No. Dean! So what are you going to do? Are you going to chuck me out on the streets? No. You could go back to your mother's. Is that what you want? I mean, it can all be arranged. A quick phone call. I'm sure she'd welcome you with open arms. I'll tell you what. I'll drive you over there on the way to the mess. Stop it, Dad. You know, I can almost sympathise with your mother now, having to cope with you all these years. Still, I suppose she's used to it. You know, maybe it is better that you go back to her place. You can't do this. I'm sorry, Georgie. You leave me with no choice. Please, Dad. It was funny yesterday. Mind you, though, you wouldn't have been laughing if you'd lost your job. Her face was worth a lifetime's wages. Besides, it's days like that that make all the dandruff and the dirty ear old work fine. <laughs> I did feel a bit sorry for her in the end, though. What? That's stuck up little cat. Zoe, you don't want to feel sorry for her. 
She's the type that takes a woman's bloke just because she can. Well, that's setting Vince off a bit lightly, isn't it? Well, don't you worry. I've got a few words to say to him when I see him. Oh, all right. <laughs> So basically, you said exactly the same thing as Graham. Yeah, they're all as bad as each other, shaking their heads. Should we build us? <laughs> Come on, what are you having? Um, a cork, please. Two cokes, please. And a bag of nuts. Oh, yeah, I thought we were having nuts Well, if you insist, make it a cheeseburger and chips, thanks. Cheeseburger and chips and a pepperoni pizza, please. We'll be sitting over there. Got the desserts all lined up for you, Vince. Are they looking over? Yes, they're coming over. Cool. We're just that cool, yeah? I thought you were going to give him a piece of your mind. All right, I will. Dean! Oh, get in quick. I'll get final week's wages at the boss seat. I was looking for Dean. Lover boy. He's gone down to breakfast. Well, well. I wondered where he spent last night. I am supposed to be a chaperone, you know. The thing is, he's taken my wallet. I can let you have some money, if that's what you're after. Oh, no. If you could just tell him to drop it round to the room before we... Maybe this is what you really came for. I must go. to the football. I don't care what you want. This is the way things are going to be around here from now on. What do you mean? I can't trust you. And until I can, I want to know where you are and what you're doing every minute of the day. And if that means dragging you around with me, then so be it. So what are you going to do? Buy me a collar and lead? Oh, if that's what it takes. <gasps> Here's your coat. Put it on. You wouldn't say no to Georgina. You're wrong, man. She's trouble. Look, I knew something was going to go off the other night as soon as I saw her. So that's why you spent the whole evening watching her? Yeah, look, Gemma, I'm really sorry, but I had a bad feeling, you know? It's all right. I mean, you're looking out for a mate. I like that. I dyed her hair orange yesterday. <laughs> you what? <laughs> What's she ever done to you? Look, can we please change the subject? I really don't want to know about Sean's sordid little love life. <laughs> don't take it out on me just because you haven't got one. <laughs> sorry. Hi. About time. You're gonna miss kick up at this rate, Tanya. <laughs> All right, Cheryl. <laughs> I bet we know where you're going. Yeah. yeah. Down. <laughs> oh, we'll, uh, we'll have you lot today. Oh yeah, you. yeah, in your dreams. Hey, do you want a lift? Well, that'd, that'd be great. Thanks. Well, this is the Charlie Riggy. It's a um, uh, simple sidekick. Ooh, there goes your chance of having kids. Then. The main thing is, it's not about aggression. It's about self-defense, and that's what so many people just don't understand about the martial arts. It's got a spiritual side as well, hasn't it? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Nothing very spiritual about punching somebody in the throat, though, is there? <laughs> you guys should try it. It's really not that difficult, and it focuses you, you know? Well, I get all the exercise I need on the football floor. Oh, did you play for a Sunday team? <laughs> Sunday team. What professionals? They're trainees with Harchester. Trainees? Still, that's great. You were interested in football? Terry Venable is their coach. You know, football's really taken off. So what's your team, then? Crocodile Dundee United. <laughs> <clears throat> no, actually, I go for Flamengo. They're top of the Rio League. <laughs> so, um, who plays for them? Well, some pretty big-name players out there, actually. Such as? Um, well, you probably wouldn't have heard of them. Would anyone like a drink? Yeah, please. Same again? Yep. Girls, I'll get this. All right, it's hard, yeah. We'll see you around see there. Yeah, see you. Take care. Bye. Hang on a minute, girls. Uh, I've lost my wallet. We've heard that one before. No, 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 seriously, I, I had it at the station. It, it must have dropped out. Oh, I mean, I, I'm not going to get in the match. I'm not going to get home. Oh, you know, every time I come to Blackburn, something like this happens. I mean, my wife warned me. Calm down, guys. We'll get taxi. Hey, and you're in luck. We've got spare season ticket. 
friend of ours usually sits with her, but she went into labour this morning. <laughs> <laughs> You're joking, are you? Let's get in there. Worry about getting you home after the game. Hey, you'll have to cover that up, man. Otherwise, the stewards will chuck you That's out. Great, yours. <laughs> hey, listen, am I, I ever going to repay it, eh? I'm sure we'll think of something. <laughs> Come on. Well, stays with us. I'm his landlord, so to speak. Yeah, yeah. He's not that excited. Hey, Carl Fletcher's cute. Does he live with you? Well, he used to when he was uh, in the youth team. Tell you what, though, he's a bit of a wild lad. Hey, listen, do you fancy some sandwiches? I've got um, ham and tomato and cheese and pickle. Yeah. What are you doing here? I beg your pardon? Didn't you get a message? You're banned. I don't want you anywhere near my club. This isn't your club. You can't stop me from coming here. I am warning you. Stay away from my team and my daughter. And do it while you still have the choice. Are you threatening me? You're the journalist. You work it out. I can't believe what a fool I was to let you use me to get at him. Uh, Georgina, it's not like that. I didn't know the story would Save break. I... Lucy, I've learnt my lesson and he's making sure that I don't forget it. Georgina! You're a university? Yeah, just down the road. Oh, we played you a lot in Friendly. 7-1, remember, Sean? Yeah, I scored a hat-trick, as I recall. So, um, what subjects are you reading? English, from Beowulf to Benjamin. So he's doing English, aren't you, Zoe? Yes, thank you, Gemma, he knows. <laughs> what books are you studying? Uh, Tess the D'Urbervilles, Hamlet and Philip Larkin. A recipe for melancholy, if I've ever heard one. Yeah, it is really, isn't it? Hiya! What are you doing here? Thought we'd come and feed the ducks, didn't we, Kaylee? The pond's down there. I bought you some soup. Oh. Yeah, well, thought you'd get a bit chilly stuck out here all day. There was nothing on the telly, so here we are. What about much? Don't panic, I've got a timer on. Well, John Hollins has said he doesn't want the manager's job on a full-time basis at Harchester United. He has to rally his troops now, and it's Harchester United to start the game. Here's Adams for Harchester United. Styles, and this is Hocknell. Well, that's a Come very. On, did you see that pass? He's having a mare. Well, perhaps he's still feeling bad about the other night. Stop making excuses for him. He's a waste of space. Well, none of them are exactly setting the world alight. I think you should be playing. It's a pity you haven't got the manager's job. Just beginning to tease Adams now. He's helped it inside to Sutton. Oh, it's a glorious oh, finish. Man, oh man, no! I don't believe it. Sutton, whose goals have helped Blackburn Rovers challenge for the leading positions in the early part of the season, has done it once again. The Harchester United defence was torn apart there by some very, very slick Blackburn passing. Listen, guys, I've better run. You not stay until the end, then? Oh, I'd love to, but, you know, SA crisis and all that. Listen, it was really nice to see you again. Yeah. Look, um, if you want to bounce some ideas about your text, um, come up to the campus and I'll show you around. That'd be great, thanks. Look, here's my number. <clears throat> Cheers. Just give us a call. Great, thanks. Uh, perhaps you should take Zoe's number as well. Yeah, right. Um, just jot it down. Well, full marks to Roy Hodgson in his first season at Ewood Park. Right, it's nice to meet you guys. Let's see you around. Yep. Bye. See ya. Come down to me campus and bounce around sometimes. Shut up. Can Harchester United get back into this football match now? O'Neill helping it forward towards Hotnell. Rafi Yakada. Going to be a free kick to Harchester United. Dean Hotnell threw the foul, and this is a great position for Harchester United. So it's Carl Fletcher, the free kick specialist, standing over the ball. Here he comes, and the Blackburn defensive wall stood firm. There's a new pub opened in town. Happy hour all night. 
thing is, Mum goes to bingo on a Friday, so I'd be stuck for a babysitter. Unless, perhaps... I wonder what suit was in here. No, you're wrong. I only saw Debbie on the way over here. That's when she invited me. Maybe. Oh, I wouldn't expect you to babysit for nothing. Tell you what, I'll do you a deal. Yeah, and what are you going to pay him with? Minestrone? No. You babysit for me, and I'll help you paint that door. Last one to finish cooks the tea. Yeah? Oh. I saw you going out with a ninja. I don't say pathetic. Mind you, saw mine of Vince's pizza. <laughs> oh, yeah. Maybe he's a ninja too. That's about your level, isn't it? You have to mock anyone who's more intelligent than you are. And what makes you so sure that he is more intelligent than me? Mm, let's see. Uh, he's got an IQ and he can walk and talk at the same time. Well, you'll make a lovely couple then, won't you? Nights in, talking about Brazil, Taekwondo. I'd like to take this from you. Not after your performance the other day with your low-budget lady, Chatterley. Yeah. Georgina, mate. Yeah, Lady Chatterley and Long John Silver. Great couple you'll make. Put the see-through outfit on, Don, and I'll be up in a minute. In your dreams. No, in my dreams, it's Melinda Messenger. Was the wallet brown leather with a sort of gold trim? Yeah, that's right. Y yeah, yeah, it is. Oh, that's great, love. Thanks. You're in luck. Station master says it's been handed in. Oh, you can collect it from last property. That is brilliant. <laughs> hey, you fancy a consolation drink, Des? Our treat. The way you're not played, you must need cheering up. <laughs> yeah, 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 all right, all right, all right. Okay. Oh, indeed. I'm Mr. Jacobs. Unlucky lad. I think you were the best of a pretty miserable bunch today. Thanks. Yeah, the team means it would kick up the backside after that. It was a 1 0 massacre. If some of you don't pull your fingers out, I think you might be in for a nasty shot next week. Fine, what's happening next week? Wish I could tell you. But I don't want your other half to find out. Yeah, I can see that. Oh, anyway. Well played. Play! I know you're going to find this really hard to believe, but I am sorry. Oh, that's all right, then. That makes all the difference. Please don't be like this. The last thing I wanted to do is come between you and your brother. Hey, don't flatter yourself, love. I only did it to protect him from you. I never intended things to end up like this. How is Sean? Oh, don't give me that. I know you. You don't give a stuff about Sean. All you care about is you. It's clear you've made up your mind. It's a shame, because I did actually really care about you. And I was naive enough to think you might have cared about me. But you were just using me, weren't you? As soon as you found out who I was, you dropped me like a ton of pricks. And all because of your precious career. <laughs> well, don't worry, Dean. You're free now. Move on to your next bit on the side. Bye. She walked into my story. Penny for them. Mm. Now then, what do I fancy for tea? You have what you're given. You know what we've got. Oh, there's some fish fingers in the freezer. Do you think you're up to that? I'm a good cook, me. Oh, yeah, when did you last cook anything? Look, just because I don't, don't mean so I can't. What I always say is, wipe a dog and bite yourself. You're a cheeky git. Hey. All right, Warren, how's it going? What do you want, Pete? Just a quick word. Take care of the inside, Monday. You heard the man. Go on. Oh, I think you were right. It is time we got a place together. What's the matter? I thought you'd be pleased. I am. It's just... I thought you wanted us to get out of people's hair. Yeah, I do. It's just all this business. I really think we should sort it out with Frank first. You do want us to live together? Yeah, of course I do. And I do think we should start looking now, but... if I don't sort it out, it's just like... I'm running away from me problems. <laughs> right, fair enough, we've got a Grizzabitch and Gold. Right. Now, back and forth. Um, Keown. Yeah. yeah. Southgate, definitely. Um, Colin Hendry. Hey, Colin Hendry isn't ugly. Colin Hendry's not ugly. He's like, he's like Frankenstein with an hangover, man. Well, what about your bloke, that David Styles? You know, the one with the broken nose. And ginger hair. <laughs> and uh, what have you got against ginger hair, then, madam, eh? I mean, there's, there's arts in it, isn't he? I mean, he's not a bad-looking bloke. 
<laughs> oh, is that the time? Listen, girls, I've, uh, I've got to go. I've got to get me train. It's a long way back to Archester. You'll be tired out by the time you get home. You could always come back to our place. Go home tomorrow morning. Well, you girls, I'm a married man. We won't tell if you won't. I thought you were still inside. Nah, I finished me stretch last week. Kenny sends you his best. That's nice. So? Well, uh, I was good, your old man inside. He said if I ever need anything to come in and look you up. Well, now you have. Yeah. So, uh, so how's football going? Is there any point to this? Well, look, you get to run out of club, don't you? Sort of. Yeah, well, go anywhere you like, do anything you like. Lou, what are you getting up, Pete? Well, there's some decent gear in a club shop, isn't there? You know what I mean? Shirts, watches, all sorts. I see. Well, and those shirts will go down a bomb down the market. Especially with a new manager coming along. Nah. You're back at the wrong tree, mate. See you around. Oi! Yeah. Look, hear me out. I mean, don't expect you to knock the place over yourself. You no, Des, it were our treat. Are you sure? Well, what, what can I say, but thanks. I mean, not just for the meal in the game, but for everything. You know, I've had a really fantastic day, just what I needed. I'm never going to forget you two, you know. <laughs> so, you know, if you're ever in Archist... Oh, I'm not sure your wife would like that. She's a lucky lady, and you're a very sweet man. Come here, you. Well, go on, or you miss your train, go on. Um, well, I'll see you, Benny. Eh? Swipe the sec. He's all getting copied and no one to be the wiser. No, oh, you gotta be joking. I came too close to going down last time. I'm only just come back from community service. No, I don't see what the problem is, man. I mean, you're not even gonna get your hands dirty. And even if I did get done, I mean, you know me, I'm not gonna cross you up, am I? Oh, no, man. I've got too much to lose. Oh, look, you don't understand. Look, I need this job. I need the dough, right? Yeah, who doesn't? Look, Warren, if you play ball, it's easy money. A few hundred notes in your back pocket. Just think about it, that's all. I'll be in touch. All right. The Dream Team Classics play on same time Monday and every weekday. OK, Friday night fans, make yourself comfortable and settle in for top comedy. But I must warn you, Janice is back in Friends next. Oh, my God. There's a videotape of me on the boardroom table at the club with Georgina Jacobs. Oh, my God! Dean, what do you think? <laughs> Why do you do it, Sean? Why do you go out of your way to make me hate you? I think you knew exactly what you were doing when you called me. Game's up, darling. <laughs> copies of the tapes. Tons of them. God knows where they all are. What are we gonna do? of the footballing calendar. FA Cup third round day always brings together some unlikely pairings and always throws up one or two unusual score lines. In this sellout tie, Harchester United, who eight seasons ago were playing third division football, now find themselves in an all premiership pairing with Coca-Cola cap holders, Leicester City. Right, this is it then, lads. My favorite day of the season, FA Cup third round. The day when all teams are equal, and dreams come true. 
Away to Leicester, eh? You know, uh, we could win this. This could be the springboard Archester needs to launch the rest of the season. You sure you know the road, does? Of course I know. I've been going there for years. I was there when we knocked Leicester out of the cup in 1974. Don't you worry, Jack. I'll get you there. If you ever find your keys. Aha! You've little faith. Well, I must say, I admire your keenness, Dean, working on a Saturday. Yeah, well, Baloo said that you wanted to get the contract sewn up as fast as possible. This is a Saturday, Dean. It's a football day. I mean, do you think it's right doing business on a football day? Uh, uh, my agent. Who's your agent? Oh, right, I'm sorry, Baloo, yeah. You're still calling yourself an agent these days, Baloo? Well, unless I'm mistaken, Michael, you did ask me to bring my client in. But I'm sure West Ham would be happy to do business on a Saturday. OK. Here you go, Dean. Uh, let me help you out here. Right there. And, and right there. I'm glad you're signing for Harchester, Dean. I think it's the right club for you. Well, of all the offers on the table, Michael, this is the one we were happiest with. No, you keep that. Souvenir. Uh, we'd rather have a different souvenir, Michael. Yeah? Yeah, like our copy of the contract. Oh, I haven't signed it yet. I like to take my time with these things, you know. I'll give it to Dean today. <laughs> Congratulations, Dean. Thanks very much. Now, you got a bus to catch, right? Yeah, yeah. Thanks, Baloo. Mr Jacobs? Yes. Package for you. Ah, good man. All right. Thank, Thank you. you. Oh, um, Connor, I forgot to tell you. Couldn't get you another ticket. It was sold out. Well, I'm sure I could get one at the grind. Well, you're more than welcome to come and try some, but I think you'd only get one from a tout at a rip-off price, you know? Oh, I suppose you're right. Best leave it then, eh? Sorry about that, mate. Well, why don't you save a cup of tea? Well, if you're sure, I'm not putting you out. Looks like you'll see the cup after all. <laughs> the teacup, huh? Lucky man. Right, lads, here we go. See you, love. Mm -hmm. See you, Connor. <laughs> well, what are you doing here? Oh, it's nice to see you too. Aren't you pleased? You should be the happiest guy in the world. You have just signed professional forms. You're a footballer, Dean. Yeah, I know. What's wrong? I just thought it might be better than this. How much better do you want? This is everything you've worked for. Yeah, but it was so quick. I was wheeled in there, told to sign, then wheeled back out again. I just thought there might have been more to it. Well, I think it's brilliant. And I think you're brilliant. Have you phoned your parents yet? Give us a chance. We only signed five minutes ago. Look, Lucy. I'm sorry, I'm going to have to go. Dean, I know it seems like an anticlimax now, but believe me, this is one of the best moments in your life. Enjoy it. I'll see you later. I'll see you later. She's taking the news about the tape well. I couldn't tell her. Well, she can either hear about it from you or read about it in the sun. What's best? Oh, cheer up. You've just signed a very lucrative five-year contract. If the club don't like the story, they can sell you on and we'll all get another payday. How long are you going to keep this up? You're the one in the straw. Me? You haven't spoken to me for a week. All I'm asking for is a bit of consideration. Yeah, sure. You're not going anywhere until we've got a few things straight. The lads will be waiting. I don't care. I don't want you showing up here in the middle of the night with strangers. What do you mean, showing up? Olivia. And so do me and Kaylee. It's none of your business who I bring back. No, you'd make it your business if I brought someone back. Just try it. All I'm saying is give me a bit of notice the next time and me and Kaylee will go to my mum's for the night. I'm not living like a monk just because you get jealous. <laughs> jealous? Man, you've got a high opinion of yourself. Yeah. Ah, Dean. Ogno's available today. Signed on the dotted line this morning. Not telling me to pick up, Mr. Chairman. Of course not, Ian. Not that kind of chairman. Besides which, I've got a little treat for us on the way home. Oh, 
fellas. Shh. Spot the lads. You're listening to Harchester Sound FM Sport with Lucy Patcham. Teenager Dean Hocknell has agreed terms and signed a long-term contract with the club despite interest from several other Premiership sides. Yes! yes. Oh, lucky little... Oh, we said that for the remainder of the course. Don't believe everything you hear on the radio. Dean could still be with you at West Ham before the month's out. <laughs> Just keep the checkbook handy anyway. Thanks for the tea. That's all right. Look, I appreciate you being nice to me, but you really don't have to, Zoe. It wasn't your fault I went back to Ireland, you know. Oh, Connor, I know that. I'm not just being nice. It's good to see you again. Really? Yeah, really. Look, what are you doing today? Do you want to go out somewhere? If you want, yeah. yeah. I'd love to. Where do you want to go anywhere? It's your choice. Well, I'd love a round of golf, actually. Look, I know you don't think it's your thing, but you love it. Honestly, you will. It's not just all for old men with tartan trousers. Come on, you might surprise yourself. Oh, all right, then I will. You won't regret it. Yeah, news desk, please. Yeah, it's about this videotape you have of a uh, Harchester player involved in a illicit liaison, shall we say? <laughs> yeah, whatever you want to call it. Anyway, I was just wondering if, um, if you wanted to know who the mystery girl is. Imagine, a lad from my house in the FA Cup, eh? Yeah, my brother, eh? Can you believe it? Our dean and a pro contract will be us next, lads. Yeah, with a bit of luck. Who needs luck? Yeah, especially when you've got talent, and I know I've got one up on you lot in that score. Don't you work that out? Well, it's obvious, isn't it? Talent runs in families. That must be a special Hocknell family gene that makes you good at football. <laughs> I must have missed you out then, Sean. Des got a special gene for making people late for football matches. Oh, uh, yeah, you'll be late in a minute, cos you're walking. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, look. The grip's the most important thing, right? Try it like that. Right. Like that? Very impressive. OK, off you go. See? I told you I couldn't play this stupid game. I'm just rushing it. Like, when you get to the top of the swing, you have to stop. Mike, I'll show you. OK. You've got to stop at the top of the swing and slow down a bit. <laughs> <laughs> or something like that. OK, off you go. <clears throat> Oh, well done. Told you you could do it. Yeah, not very well, though. Chris says I score our first goal. Come on, you're not scared of the FA now, are you? You can't afford 50 quid. Don't tell me Jacobs is only paying you 50 quid a week. Fletch. Do you know? Leave it. All right. You know what you're supposed to be doing. You know you've got on corners. I want to see some work out of you two today. Well, come on, then. Let's go! And as the teams warm up, Ian Coates has shown that Harchester fancy their chances of a win this afternoon with an attack-minded formation. Dean Hocknell and Carl Fletcher are both in the starting lineup. Fletcher having passed a late fitness test, while Hocknell has just signed a new five-year contract. And Martin O'Neill is breathing a sigh of relief as Heskey and Elliot also passed late fitness tests. Gonna miss kickoff. I thought you'd been here loads of times. Maybe less that I've moved to a new stadium. What do you say if we park here and walk, eh? <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah. Drive on. So it's Leicester City to get us underway in this FA Cup third round tie. Leicester City playing from left to right in the first half. Get a sprint on, Mike. Just make it. Come on. I told you I'd get you there, lads, didn't I? Come on, let's get a move on. 
Don't shut the door. The tickets were in my wallet in the glove compartment. Claridge. It's all Leicester City at the moment. This is Guppy. Harchester being driven back here. Claridge gets away from Styles. And he's just turned the shot wide, but it's all Leicester City. And how long can Harchester hold on? Tell them your Dean's brothers bound to work. Oh, yeah, can't feel. Right, the recovery service said they get us in the car, no problem. Yes. Yeah, the bad news is it's going to take them 90 minutes to get here. Looks like you're pleading with the doorman, Sean. Why me? Oh, listen, all right, I'll go. Um, can you remember the seat numbers? Ah, <sighs> oh, uh, this ain't gonna happen, man. Get myself in. We've had 34 minutes of incessant Leicester City pressure, but still scoreless. This is Claridge. Ian Marshall's waiting in the middle. isn't working particularly well. Which way do you think we're playing? Where do you think Warren's got to? I'm not Warren, the black is wearing somehow. Hey, we could get a radio. How much money have you got? You want a radio? You buy a radio. I mean, wallet's in the car with a ticket, isn't it, clever clogs? For safekeeping. And here's Mussey, is it? And there's the half-time whistle. A splendid first half by Leicester City. Ian Marshall's goal separates the two teams at the interval. Can Leicester keep it up and claim a place in round four? You can't do this. You better let me out. You're going to be in big bother when the truth comes out, you know. You can't just lock a man up without any proof. I'm telling you, you're making a big mistake. I don't believe what I'm seeing out there. Which one of you was meant to be on Marshall for the goal? Was it you? Was it? There's no excuses to play that way. I don't remember seeing any of you win a ball that off. It's obvious what's going to happen. We've got to defend closer to them, push them 10, 15 yards back, get the ball along the lines and get the crosses in. How many crosses have you put in? You! How many crosses have you put in? Oh, no, you know, you've been too busy running around, staying away from the ball. Well, I'll tell you, none! Not one! Now, how are these guys supposed to do anything if they're not getting any service? Right. In the second half, I want you two upfield supporting the forwards. Hotnell. Fletch, you're letting them come on to you. Defend early. Comprende? Right. This game isn't over yet. We haven't lost this. Look at your teammates. But don't look at me, you moron. Look at your teammate. Now tell me, is this a side that should go out of the FA Cup on its first outing? Because if you think so, let me know, and I'll get someone else in. Someone who wants to win. <laughs> All right. Right, come on, let's go. And remember, 10 yards further upfield. Let's give this young lad a chance to show what he's made of. You're doing fine, you're right. Yeah, I'm just a big gut, they lost that ball. Well, there'll be other chances. Maybe if we passed it, we might have finished it. All right, come on, let's go. Come on! What's the matter with you all sitting in front of him? Pass when you have to, and you won't need to take the stick. All right? Oh, I don't believe this. You know, it's not just the football, you know, lads. It's all the superstitions and rituals that go with it. I mean, you know, I know this might sound stupid. If I don't get me half-time cuppa, we always draw. You're right, Des. It does sound stupid. Come on, yeah. Come on, yeah, yeah. One-nil the half-time score. Ian Marshall's goal separating the... Oi! How's going to keep me in here for? So it's Harchester United to restart the game and in a bizarre twist, Harchester United just have ten men on the field because Hotnell hasn't reappeared for the second half. I understand he has some sort of hand injury. Get a move on, the game's started. Lennon gives it away. McNeil feeds Lex 
Fletcher. Here come Hartister again. Fletcher shoots. Oh, and Fletcher scores! Yes! Ten man Hartister United are level early in the second half. What a super strike by Fletcher. And Hartister are right back in this cup tie. What are you all excited about? Well, it's the equaliser, isn't it? How do you know that? Well, the cheese for the first goal came from that end. The cheese for that goal came from that end. So it's one all. So how do you know it was an equaliser for us and what you mean for them? It's obvious, Sean. We're the away team. The cheese for that goal was smaller than the cheese for the first goal. Des, you're a genius. Yes! Guppy. Yes! Jamie Brown is the hardest United defender. And Brown did well there, but he's conceded a corner. And Hartus United reintroduced Dean Hocknell, who's missed the start of the second half. Great. Thanks, Stephen. Oh, and listen, don't tell your mum about the car. I don't want to worry you. Yeah? All right, see ya. Yes, Fletcher got it. Man. Come on, we don't want to miss anything. It's still 1-1. One, one. Oh, a mistake there has let in Hocknell. Hocknell through on goal. He's round Callan, he scored! Thanks for the lesson today, I really enjoyed it. Told you you would. I enjoyed the whole day, actually. You're a lot of fun when you relax a bit. Am I? Yeah. You're different since you come back from Ireland. You're more confident. I'm older and wiser, eh? Yeah, you are. That's going to have the throw now. And there's an incident there involving Hocknell and Walsh. Hocknell claims that Walsh pushed him. And Hocknell has been shown a yellow card and he's pushed the referee, Paul Danson, and he's sent him off! Seven minutes to go, and Hartester are down to ten men. Hotnell is off, and there's a nervy end to the game for Hartester United. Leicester take the free kick quickly. Heskey now. Into... Oi! I don't listen to that! just got to get on with it. I realise now that I have to toughen up if I want to be a professional footballer. You don't have to be a footballer. I know, but I might as well give it a go. For one thing, Mum and Dad couldn't afford to pay back the money. What money? Mike Jacobs paid my Mum and Dad money to get me to sign for Harchester. It sounds like they sold you. It does, doesn't it? Frank was the one who made me see sense. Stay in Ireland and be a nobody or come back to Harchester and make a name for myself. I think Potato Head was the name I made for myself <laughs> last time. <laughs> yeah, but not this time, though, eh? Oh, the lads still slag me off, but I just grin and bear it. I don't know how you can live in the same house as that Sean. He never stops, does he? Yeah. No, Sean's bark's worse than his bite, though. Give him a taste of his own medicine. He can be quite sweet, really. I speak to him in my office Monday morning, 8.45. Good call, mate. It went in off the miner, didn't it? That's 50 quid, you Just leave the place. Oh, yeah, that's right. You didn't take the bet, did you? Good job I had a side bet and you losing your temper and getting yourself sent off. Isn't that right, <laughs> What about Dean then? Ace scoring that winner. And being sent off. Never has been very good with pressure. Oh, come on, he must have been provoked. Warren will be able to tell us what happened. Wouldn't surprise me if he found himself a centre stand seat. Well, the recovery service should be here in a minute. What's that? I don't believe this. I enjoyed our chat. Maybe we can do it again sometime, eh? Yeah, that'd be great. Look, I've got to go. I told Gemma I'd meet her from work. Mm -hmm. I'll see you around. Boy, you show some professionalism off the pitch. Even if you can't do it on the park, when it matters. Same this when you scored. 
you ain't heard the last of this. First thing Monday morning, I'm going to see him in brief. Wrong for the rest, they call it. They're going to throw the fuck at you. And I'm missing mate scoring the winning goal. Yeah, that's got worth a couple of quid in compensation. Where have you been all day? Uh, right, lads, calm down. Uh, calm down. Listen, uh, it's been a great day, but some of us have got a little too caught up in the action. <clears throat> right, Dean? <laughs> I can allow you a little indiscretion after that goal you scored, but anyway, enough about talking who's scoring on the park. I want to talk about who's scoring off the park. I'm sure you've all heard about this fabulous tape that's been doing the rounds of the Fleet Street pubs. Well, here it is, ladies and gentlemen. I bring to you today the famous tape. Now, to show you I'm no prude, there's a... Yeah, for you, Fletch. If you are our mystery scorer, there's a bottle of champagne in it for you. Right. Dean, you rascal! You dark horse, you. Right, that's a bottle of bubbly I owe you. That's his daughter. No. You are finished. Dribbling in, same time tomorrow, another class replay from the Dream Team. Up next, though, Chandler's heading for heartbreak and in Monica's bed. Oh, you've got to hand it to him. Friends, then, on the way. I'm glad you're signing for Harchester, Dean. I think it's the right club for you. Congratulations, Dean. Thanks very much. This is everything you've worked for. If the club don't like the story, they can sell you on and we'll all get another payday. And Hocknell has been shown a yellow card and he's pushed the referee, Paul Danson, and he's sent him off! Got a little treat for us on the way home. That's his daughter. Didn't know. You are finished. Top of the world. Just once, you know. That stupid once. On the night of my debut when I was high. And... Nah, no excuses though. And now I've blown everything. My career, Lucy. We were supposed to be getting married, but we won't know because I was stupid once. Stand by me. Involved now, Lucy Patchen will be standing by me with a weekend sports well, She can't find a car key, she won't. Right. Sitting in the next door studio, but until then, tons of good sounds from you here on Harchester Sound FM Radio. How is Lucy? She must feel terrible. I have a um... I couldn't bring myself to phone her. Dean, you've got to tell her. She's probably found out already. The press will be on I to know, her. I know, I know, I will. I just, I just haven't got the bottle. Go now. Do it now. It's the very least you owe her. Morning, morning, morning. Ready when you are, Des? What? Today is the day. <laughs> I don't think so, Sean. Oh, come on, you promised. You all right, Dean? I think that's something you should know, mate. You don't live here anymore. You live with Lucy. Just go, Dean. Hello? 
Hello? Who is this? No, Dean doesn't live here anymore. No, I don't know where he is. Goodbye. Journalist, yeah. They're hunting me down, man. They want me blood. Go on, Dean. It's only a matter of time before they pick it up. I want to sue them, Arthur. Whatever scummy little journalist prints this first, I will sue him. Yeah, and I've got to sack Hotnell, of course, and then deal with my daughter. Oh, God. Damage limitation. That's all we can do is damage limitation. Why? What's the point? The point is, this is a terrible situation, and I don't want it getting any worse. Mike will be in an awful state. To be honest, I don't know what he might do. What he might do to Georgina. Oh, Mike, this, Mike, that. I mean, what is this? You, you only work for him, you know. You're not married to him. Or oh, perhaps you'd rather be. Shut up, Des. Look, it, it's Sunday, you know. I thought we might do something together. Don't you feel responsible? Don't you feel it might be good to try and help the situation? Ugh, I'll see you later. Really? Excuse me. The service around here is getting worse, you know. You have to make me own breakfast these days. Go and boil your head, Sean. Mm -hmm. Service with a smile, too, eh? Lucy? Lucy? Hello? What? No, no comment. Sunday now. You don't know, do you? Oh, you've been away. Yeah, my grand's. Why? What's happened? You don't know about the video. How did you know about that? I hate to tell you this, Georgina, but there are copies everywhere. They played it on the team coach on the way back from the match last night. <gasps> but no, cos Dean sorted all of this out. Does Dad know? Oh, my God. Oh, my God! He will kill me! I swear Dad will kill me! I know it's awful now, but you are going to have to talk to your dad. He won't listen. He never listens. You're going to have to try and work things out. Look, I'll help if I can. What are you doing here? Oh, what a touching little scene. Georgina asked you around to protect her, did she? Yeah, well, please go, Lynette. Georgina did not ask me to come. I wanted to make sure... Yeah, so? You knew about this all the time, did you? I'm the last one to know, I suppose. You're keeping it all from me. Well, that's just great. Oh, don't be ridiculous, Michael. You know what I'm doing? I'm giving up. I can't cope anymore. It's official, Georgina. You can do what you want. Here, here's my money. Go on, have a good party. Why don't you go through the entire first team squad? Oh, silly me, you probably already have done, of course. Michael! Go on, off you go. Have a good time. Why don't you get yourself in one of those glossy magazines? That's a good career move for you. Yeah, excellent. Why don't you do that? Michael, be sensible. Oh, don't be stupid, Lynette. We've tried to be sensible, haven't we, Georgina? I've tried to be nice. I've tried to give her everything she needs, like a home and some money. But no, what has she done? She's used me. She's laughed in my face. 
I don't have a daughter anymore. The girl's no more than a common prostitute. Mike, how could you? What? What have I done? I'm only giving her the respect she deserves. Now, would you please go, Lynette? I've got a lot of work to do. I'm not leaving you like this. No, please do. The matter's closed. My lawyer's dealing with everything. Hocknell's sacked. I have no daughter. Simple. It's the end. Michael, sit down! L is for love. That's the main reason I'm doing it, to be honest. Pass me test, get myself a new car. Not like this old banger of Dean's. Oh, I can get my agent to get me one like. That's when I sign with an agent, when I turn pro. Then I'm off. Open road, top down, beautiful blonde, hair blown in the breeze. What more can a man want, eh? So you've never driven before, then? Well, I've, I've had to go on my dad's old motor and an airfield when I was 15. I think I've got the basics. I'm not too sure this is a good idea, you know, Sean. I mean, the roads are wet oh, and... Come on, there's it's only half an hour. All right, go on then, get in. You're a pal. I'm an idiot. She's very young. She's had a lot of money to play with. She's looking for excitement. Teenagers do. Is that what Zoe's like? I mean, is she out running around after everything in trousers, drinking herself under the table every night? Zoe's different. Of course we have rows. She's an independent young woman. Well, I'd be worried if we didn't have the old bus stop occasionally. And yes, she is a sensible girl. Some of her friends, they get up to all kinds of things. Yeah. I wouldn't have dreamed of running around sleeping with everyone when I was her age. I don't remember you as quite the saintly figure. She needs you. Try looking at it from her point of view. She's not a tart. She's Georgina. Oh, I, I just don't know what to do. Didn't you used to tell me about your dad? Yeah. My dad was a great man. How he helped you after Harchester rejected you as a player? When they told you you wouldn't make the grade? And you went through a terrible patch for a while. Your whole life fell apart. You could have gone off the rails. But he was there for you. He talked you through. He picked you up. Where might you have been without him? Yeah, well... Listen to her. And she might just listen to you. I don't know. You're right, I suppose. She's my daughter, and I have absolutely no idea who she is. I'll tell you one thing, Lynette. I wish you were her mother. I mean that. Uh... Okay, now slowly out with the clutch. Gently, gently. Very good, Sean. Very good. I'm just a natural. Okay, yeah, let's, let's go this way. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's all right, all right, don't worry. Just uh, put it into neutral. Neutral, Sean. Neutral, Sean. Okay, right. Neutral, Sean. Oh, right. Right. Keep your hair on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. Just calm, calm, calm. Whoa, whoa. 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 Georgina, it's me. Are you all right, love? I just want a word. Can I come in? Georgina, it's good to see you. How are you? I'm um, fine. Um, I was just passing, so... Well, come on in. You can be one of our first visitors. No, really, I can't. Please, let me show you around the flat. 
I haven't seen you since the Christmas party. And I didn't see you then, really, what with your dad whisking you away. Right. <laughs> Created quite a scene, I think. You're telling me that was a fantastic entrance. Is Dean here? Did you want to see him? No. No, he had a lad's night out last night. He has been back, but I missed him. What brings you round? Um, I actually wanted to talk to you about something. Um, but I changed my mind. What about? Just something at the club that I thought you might be interested in, but it really doesn't matter. Are you OK? Actually, I'm really not feeling very well. Could I use your loo? Oh, yes, of course you can. Come on, it's through here. Bit of a late night last night. Are you sure you're going to be all right? Yeah, I'll be fine, thanks. Hello, stranger. Oh, you must have had a good night. You look awful. Mm. Thank you for my note. It was lovely. Look, uh, um, I have to tell you something. What? What is it, Dean? Uh, I don't really know how to say this, man. What is it? Oh, Dean, just tell me you're frightening me. You know the video? What video? The videotape everyone's talking about. Yeah. Well, it's me. I'm on the video. <laughs> what do you mean? You're on the video? Yeah, I'm on the video. Dean had a... Oh, my God. You were doing it with somebody else? With who? Who are you on the video with? It doesn't matter who with. The fact is that it happened. It does matter. I want to know who, Dean? Who? Georgina. I'm starting to get the hang of this, Des. There's nothing to it, really, is there? I'll drive back. No, 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 Sean, please, no. Just get out of the car oh, and let me Oh, come drive. on, Des, don't be a spice. <laughs> out of the car now, Sean. So you two are on the video in the club boardroom? Yeah. When? When did you do it? Um, on the night of my first game, after the match. You went to studs? Yeah, and I met Georgina there. And you took her back to the club, to the scene of your triumph, and you had her on the boardroom table. Yeah, but I was drunk. I didn't know what I was doing. I'm, I just got carried away with everything. Oh, thank you. Thank you. That really makes me feel good. I don't give a damn how you feel, right? All I care about is Lucy and what I've done to her, how stupid I've been. So you seduced him. You took Dean to Daddy's club. You took my boyfriend and you had him. I didn't know he had a girlfriend, Lucy. He forgot to mention that little detail while he was buying me drinks all night. Oh, please. I bet you knew exactly what you were doing. How I could ever have thought of you as a friend. All that time at the club, chatting, you were deceiving me, knowing full well that you had had my boyfriend. Maybe if you'd been there a little more for Dean when he needed you, this wouldn't have happened. Georgina, shut up! What do you mean, when he needed me? How dare you? Don't accuse me when you're the tart! He said that you let him down. He said that he needed you and that you weren't there for him. Look, that's not true. Look, this is my fault. I made the mistake and I should never have done what I did. God, both of you, get out of here Look, now! The fact is, Lucius, that he was tired of you. Tired of being bored by you. He wanted some excitement. He wanted me. You were nowhere and he needed me. Get out! I will. Don't come anywhere near me. You disgust me, you liar. You said nothing was wrong. You you were stressed. That's why you were being strange. And all the time you were lying, you'd taken this slut and you'd had her. You're a liar! I thought that was pretty good for my first attempt. Yeah, well, you can tell that to your driving instructor. You can pay for lessons, you know. Um, I can't. Cash flow problems. So I was thinking... No, Sean, no. I've got me health to think about. That wasn't that bad. Oh, bad enough. Hello? Uh, yeah. Yeah, he is. A woman? <clears throat> Hello? 
Trudy. No, no, I wasn't. I wasn't having a lesson. I was um, giving a lesson to someone. No, well, you know, it's it's just a little run around that I use from time to time. Yeah, um, ten minutes. Uh, yeah, I'll um, I'll bring the car. This isn't a wind up by any chance, is it? No handcuffs, funny business. Good. I call me it either. Hi there. When did you take your test then? I'm sorry? Your driving test. Oh, um, I don't know. I just started today. Where are we going? Nowhere, of course. What, you mean? Shut up, man, it's broad daylight, there's people about. Haven't you been to Italy? What are you on about? Get in. I don't want to hear any more. I don't want to know. Well, you've been doing it, that is it, that is the end for me. And you can stay here if you want to, you two in my flat, because I'm off. God, I can't believe this, I can't believe it's happened. Yet it's been so obvious, I've been so stupid. Georgina, just get out. Go on, out. Do you? No, you stay, Georgina. You stay with Dean, I'm sure you're going to be very happy. Until some other little tart comes along and Dean goes off with her. Just get out, go on. Look, Dean, please, will you call me? I really need to speak to you. No, 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 no. Listen, right. I never, ever want to see you again, right? Now, go on, just go. Very clever, the Italians. Very ingenious. So you see, absolutely no one can see him. Ah, you're a canny madam. I'll do my best. So what about your husband, then? Doesn't he mean what you get up to? Well, he's fine. In fact, he'll be joining us in a minute. You what? You are so gullible. No, my uh, one rule in life is quite simple. Don't get caught. Did you do it at the digs? Hmm? In your single bed? Did you do it last night when you were out with the lads? No, what? No, I didn't do it here. But at the digs? Uh, she stayed one night about a week after the match. Look, I can't even remember any of this. You're I... pathetic! Shut up! I don't want to hear you apologise and I never want to hear you speak again! But Lucy, I love Shut you, man. God. I'm going to come back for the rest of my stuff. Call me to let me know when you're not going to be here. And this? Lucy! Lucy! I love you. Shh. There's someone there? Of course there's someone there. We're in public. That's half the fun. <laughs> I can't. It's just, if there's anyone else around, I find it hard. Or well, try not to think about it. I can't. Well, put the radio on then. Yeah? You know, to take your mind off it. But... Better with the music? Yeah, it is, thanks. You really don't miss a trick, do you? There's plenty more that came from. What was that? It was the earth moving forward. Yeah, and this affecting all your men. I do my best. What is that? Hey, oh. Easy, Saigon. Well, if she's not at Claire's, then I don't know where she is. So you're right, I don't know my own daughter.
It's all right, then. Quiet, baby, quiet. Shh. God, it's all right. It's okay. We'll, we'll get through this, darling. We'll get through this. We'll turn over a new leaf. It's all been my fault. I'm so sorry, Georgina. I'm so sorry. I'm in such a mess. You don't understand what happened. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'd like to stop it. Right there. Good luck, you in the eye. The beautiful game continues with more choice cuts of Dream Team, same time tomorrow. Two ugly situations rear their heads next, though. One is naked, and the other one is Janice and her huge mouth. Nasty but funny. Friends next. do to Dean to hurt him as much as he's hurt me. Face it, you might have to bring up the baby on your own. Could you cope with that? Let's just call it quits. I wish Lucy would see it like that. I want, I want Dean to feel the pain. You and Jacobs, you slept with him, didn't you? For goodness sake, of course not! Oh, don't give us that! Where are you off to then? See Georgina. On you. Any excuse to get over there, eh? Des, we have been through this. That poor girl needs someone now. She needs a woman she can talk to. And does Jacobs talk to you, or does he just turn over? What? But you think I was born yesterday? And are you going over to see him? I mean, what am I supposed to do? Shall I just uh, wave you goodbye? Or maybe I could give you a lift over there. There eh? is nothing going on between me and Michael Jacobs. How many more times do I have to say it? He won't even be there. Oh, is that right? I was his secretary, remember? He's got a sponsor's event at the club. He'll be long gone. Look, the only reason I am going over there is to help a child in trouble. Is that so wrong? You've got children here. You've got responsibilities here. I mean, you, you can't just go running around after every little scrubber that gets herself into bother. What is the matter with you, Des? This bitterness, this stupid jealousy. It was never you. Well, maybe it should have been. Maybe then my wife wouldn't be spending nights with her ex-boyfriend. You were late last night. I was getting a bit worried. I mean, not that you can't look after yourself, but in the circumstances. I don't want to talk about it, Dad. Look, if you want to have a good cry, it'll make you feel better. I'll tell you something, if Dean was round here now, I'd kill him. Dad, I'm not upset for Dean, I'm upset for myself. I understand. No, you don't. This isn't about what's happened, it's what it's done to me. But you'll get over it. Oh, no. God, I wanted to hurt Dean. And all I've done is hurt myself. And this is a wound that is never going to heal, ever. I'm sorry, I don't follow. What's the matter? <sighs> Have you ever done something, Dad? Something that you've not just regretted, but you really hate yourself for doing? Well, I gave a penalty away once in the last minute oh, against the be Arsenal. Be sensible! I'd have to think about it. Well, then you haven't. Because believe me, you would remember if you had. I'm surprised to see you here. I thought you were keeping your distance. I am. I didn't think you'd be here. Why aren't you at work? After yesterday. I feel like a duck in a shooting gallery. 
But what about the sponsor's lunch? The fashion show, you've got to be there. And have them laugh at me over their canapes. Have the gentlemen of the press declare open season on me. No, thank you very much. I'm better off here. Come on, Michael. It's not your style to hide. You're better off facing them, carrying on as normal. Normal? You always take everything in your stride. Show them you're in control of the situation and the gossip will stick in their throats. Don't you want me to stay? Michael, nothing's changed. I know you don't mean that. I've made my choice, Michael, and it's the same one I made years ago. Then why are you here? I've come to see Georgina. Have you? Really? You're not just deceiving me, you're deceiving yourself. I've come to see Georgina. She's had enough upheaval. She needs stability now more than ever. And how am I supposed to give her that? Michael, go back to work. Show her you're coping and it'll help her to cope. You're doing the right thing, Michael. Well, if I'm not, I know who to blame, don't I? Me and you have got to talk. You've got a cheek, haven't you? If it wasn't for your ex, you'd be picking up your teeth by now. Lucy. Lucy, what, what's she got to do with this? You haven't spoken to her? No. Oh, well. You'll be delighted to hear that she's gone some way towards settling your account. Beating you up now would be an anticlimax. Settling my account? Sorry, I don't understand. Oh. She's paid your debt in kind, Hopper. Oh, for heaven's sake, I don't have to draw your picture, do I? Or should I say, show you the videotape? What? Are you trying to tell me that you've slept with Lucy? Oh, no. We were perfectly wide awake at the time. And stone cold sober, I might add. I don't believe you. Ask yourself. I'm sure she won't bother denying it. You took advantage of her when she was upset. Oh, no, quite the contrary. She came to me. I must compliment you, Dean. You've got excellent taste. You know, I've never had quite so much fun consoling someone in my whole life. Even after all the murdering, even after all. Suffering so You know I love you so You know I love you so and so A fashion show is the last thing you need in your condition And there's likely to be a lot of press interest I'm not gonna let that stop me You remind me so much of your father You haven't told him yet, have you? He's your dad and he loves you. And it's not going to be as hard as you think. Trust me, it really won't... You've just got to tell him. I know. You're right. I've got to tell him, and I will. I just... Will you come with me? <gasps> of course I will. Frank! Frank! You took your time. I just want to say I'm sorry. Right, well, now you have. Get lost. Look, I'm not trying to make excuses, but she wouldn't leave me alone, no matter how many times I told her. Any man would have found it difficult. Have you any idea? Any idea how proud of you I was? I brought you into my home, into my family. I was so chuffed when you and Lucy got together. I know, I know. But Frank, please, I'm asking for your help. Listen, if you need to speak to somebody, go and talk to your old man. He'll understand you much better than me. It's funny, you know, for the first time, I can see Sammy Hockner in you. I'm nothing like that. You're not standing where I'm standing. <sighs> Remember that feeling of being let down when he's staggered out of your life? That feeling of betrayal? Because if you do, you can appreciate how I feel and how Lucy feels. It's as much as I can do not to smash you in the face. Do it then, go on. If it's going to make you feel better, do it. I'm not going to lift a finger to stop you. Yeah? 
that you have been so stupid. All right. I made one mistake, one stupid mistake, and now I've lost my girlfriend, I've lost my career, I've lost my life, man. It's not like I killed anybody. You want to try telling Lucy that? Well, she's not perfect. What? When you asked her where she was last night, she didn't come home, did she? No. Don't play games with me. If you've got something to say, say it. All right, all right, I will. She was with Jacobs getting the perfect revenge. That is not true. Isn't it? Why don't you ask Lucy? See, Frank, we're all flesh and blood, all of us. You get out of here before I kill you. Get out! Get out! Frank, I didn't mean to upset you. Hi, Melinda. Oh, hi, Georgina. Look, the rest of your outfits are uh, going to be marked up for you, so if you want to go and get yourself into makeup and get ready. Okay. Oh, would it be all right if I had a little peek out front? Yeah, sure. Come on, I'll take okay. you. Are those all journalists? Yeah, I never expected a turnout like this, but I suppose with everything that's been going on. Look, you don't have to go ahead with this, you know. I'm sure Catalina won't mind doing some more outfits. No, I'm not going to let them stop me. But if you change your mind, I won't. Good. Just give them some of that cheap bubbly we've got up there, all right? Yes, they can have as many nuts as they like. Listen, I gotta go. Yeah. You just don't go away. Well, that's what I'm here about. Look, the quicker I get away from you and your daughter, the better. And I know you want rid of me, so I'm gonna make it easy for you. I don't care who you sell me, though. I just want out as quickly as possible. Whatever you'd like, Dean. So, what will it be? A nice fresh start at some premiership club? No, no. How about a run in the sun on the continent? Whatever suits you best. Anywhere. I really don't care. Yeah, that's precisely what you'd like, isn't it? Another signing on fee, another pay rise. That'd suit you right down to the ground. And then in a month, you'd forget this whole thing ever happened. What? I have no intention of selling you, pal. Don't be stupid. You keep me here, and I'm not going to kick a ball for you. Not after what you did to Lucy. You'll just be paying me big wages for nothing. At least if you sell me, you can cash in. I don't care about the money. All I care about is making you suffer for what you did to my daughter. For what I did to her? Hey, she did all the running, mate. Believe me, she was absolutely gagging for it. If it wasn't me, it would have been one of the other lads. It, it probably will be next week. Look, the bottom line is, you can't force me to play. I don't want you to play. In fact, I'm going to make it my business that you never play for Harchester United's first team again. You see, Hocknell, that little outing you had in the reserves yesterday? That's a taste of things to come. I'm going to let you rot in the stiffs. Yeah, well, we'll see what Mr Coates has to say about that. And the fans won't stand for it either. Coates can do what he's told, and the fans can go whistle. I own this football club! And anyway, if they're so desperate to see you, they can come down to the reserves, can't they? That way, with all that peace and quiet, you'll have plenty of time to think about all those trophies and all those England caps that you are never going to win. You're flushing two million quid down the bog, yeah? Hey, well, well, we'll tell you. I'm not going to stand for it. I'll have the PFA on you like a shot. Stuff the PFA. You haven't got a leg to stand on, pal, because of your greed and your agent. You're tied to this club for the next five years. Years. Count them. One, two, three, four, five. And there's nothing you can do about it. Let's see. You all right? Oh, look, I'm sorry. Backstage is off limits. Could you go back out to the audience? Um, I'm one of the footballers. Dean Hockle's brother. Sean? Oh, right. Yeah, nice to meet you. Look, would you mind going back out the front? And it's just things are really hectic back here. Um, actually, I was thinking about helping out. Maybe do a bit of modelling. Be a shame let this body go to waste, you know. I'm, I'm a walking coat hanging on me. That's really kind, but it's OK. Actually, yeah, there is something you might be able to help us with, if you don't mind. Lead the way. Great. This picture, <laughs> Chopper Harris. <laughs> in a day glow crop top. Oi! I want a word with you. I beg your pardon? You would. Excuse me? Des, whatever this is that you want, now is neither the time nor the place. It's as good as any. The 
Did you sleep with my wife? Yes or no? Please, Des. Tell me. Don't force me to embarrass you, Des. You're not up to the outraged husband routine. Just stick to what you're best at. Go home, cook your dinner, make your beds. I'm not leaving till I have an answer. Would you mind just taking your seats for a moment, gentlemen? This shouldn't take too long. It's funny. I never took Lynette for the kiss and tell type. What did she say? Never mind that. What is it with you, Mike? Why can't you just leave us alone? Is it because you never got over the fact she chose me instead of you? Is that why you're jealous? Me jealous of you? Oh, I don't think so, Des. If I really made the effort, I could take it from you tomorrow, right? Oh, no. No, you can't cope with the fact that I've got something you want. You think you can take her? Then just try. Lynette loves me. She did 20 years ago, and she does now. Love is about respect and admiration. What could she find to respect and admire in you? She knew what might happen when she took the job, right? She even told you. But no, you forced her to do it. How can anybody respect a man who prostitutes his wife to save his own skin? I don't even know what Lynette saw in you. Oh, you're going now then, Des? She didn't want to stay for lunch. I got some lovely roast beef sarnies here. No. Uh, run along then, like a good little boy. Actually, Mike, um, there was one last thing. Yes. Oh. <sighs> Proud of yourself, are you? What? I know what's happened. I've seen Michael Jacobs. There's a surprise. Well, he deserved it. What did you do? Because it's better for him. I am just about fed up of these stupid remarks. What the hell are you playing at? He could have you done for assault. Oh, so what? If he stops him messing about with another bloke's wife, it'll have been worth it. How many more times? He is not messing about with anyone. Why won't you believe me? Because you're lying. I don't know what's going on. I've seen you. Seen me doing what exactly? Hugging and kissing the man you didn't go and see this morning. The man who wasn't going to be at home. You followed me? Yeah, yeah I followed you. And I'm glad I did. <laughs> You've got another thing coming if you think I'm wearing that. Oh, come on, please. No one's going to know it's you, and I'd be really grateful. I'm sure you would, but there's only one bloke who's daft enough to wear that, and he does. You know, you'd look really cute. Do you think so? Yeah. Oh. I love fairy things. My bedroom's full of them. Right, give us a head. <laughs> How could you do it, Des? How could you follow me? Do you really trust me so little? I don't want to lose you, Lynette. Every morning I used to look across at you. I used to say to myself, Des Baker, you are a lucky, lucky man. I've always been scared. Scared some flash bloke was going to come along and take it away from me. Des. This is where I want to be. In all the years that we have been married, I've never wanted to be anywhere else. The only thing that is driving a wedge between us is you and your silly ideas. of Harchester United's Spring into Summer collection. And uh, it's good to see lots of you journalists out there. Obviously, did a pretty good press release. <laughs> anyway, you'll see from the collection that the range is aimed at women as well as men, reflecting the growing number of women attending football matches. And as ever, we can promise you a stunning show with hopefully a few pleasant surprises. So time for me to shut up and let the clothes speak for themselves. <laughs> I 
I'm not a model normally. I'm a footballer. Right. OK, Sean, you just need to dance on the catwalk, have a bit of fun, and don't worry, because nobody knows it's you. I, know. I, I don't know what it was. It's just all the lights and the photographers and everything. Don't worry. Have a sip. Thanks. You sure you're okay? Yeah, I'll be fine. Did you enjoy it? What? I thought you were a lot of things, Lucy. Would sleep with Mike Jacobs. How dare you come in here and lecture me? Yeah, I slept with Michael Jacobs. That's what you reduced me to. I so much wanted to hurt you, Dean. I wanted to make you feel the pain that I had felt. But you don't. It's just your pride that's hurt, isn't it? Nothing to do with love, and perhaps it never was. No, you're wrong. You're wrong, but why lose? I mean, I'd lost you. I'd lost my career. Wasn't that punishment enough? Oh, not nearly enough. I am going to make you suffer in every way that I can. I think you'll find tomorrow's son a, a very educational experience. You didn't go to the papers. Oh, you bet I did. I made a few quid out of it, too. Double page spread, nice photo of me, and that one I took of you falling into the road after your 18th birthday. I'm sure Ian Coates will be delighted to see it. Why? Why couldn't we just keep this between us two? The three of us, Dean. The three of us. Well, you better make that four, hadn't you? Oh, no. What I did with Michael Jacobs was a one-off. Cool, calculated and utterly loveless. I will not be going back for second helping. Does it matter? The damage is done. There was nothing left to damage, Dean. You'd seen to that. Oh, he's gone! He's gone. Oh, he's gone. Hi there. How are you? Not bad, right. are you? Yeah, good, thanks. Come down to watch your dad? Mm. <laughs> I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> Hello. Hello, love. How was the show? It was OK. Are you all right? Yeah, of course I am. I can still show one or two of this lot how to play. I'm not as old as you think. Mm. Dad, I really need to talk to you. Yeah, stay and watch. I'll be back in a couple of minutes. After I've finished giving this lot a football lesson. Dad, it's really important. Next goal wins it! <laughs> Just two more minutes. I'll finish. Yeah, come here, come here. Yeah. Back in, back in. I can't handle this. I really can't handle this, you know. What I did was wrong, yeah. But other blokes do things like this every day. If it wasn't for the newspapers and the video, would you really find it that difficult to forgive me? That you could even ask me that question shows just how little you know about me, Dean. If you can do this now before we're married, what about ten years' time when I'm losing my looks and 19-year-olds are still throwing themselves at you? It's all or nothing with me, Dean. You've chosen nothing. Did I? If you were indifferent, then yeah, then maybe I could accept that. But you say that you're determined to make me suffer. Now, oh, those aren't the words of someone who doesn't care, Lucy. You tell me that you don't care. Tell me, and I will leave now. I don't care. Oh. 
Ian, get an ambulance now. John, grab some tracks and tops for me. Dad? Dad? Brian, Brian, what's going on? I think he's having a heart attack. Daddy! Balls being passed on to comedy next on Sky One as Friday evening hits full speed with a stack of laughs, a little turkey and a nice bit of family infighting from the Gellers. Pick your side and place your bets for the friends. Georgina. <laughs> What's going on? How's your father? That's dead. I just thought... That I'd gone off you. Yeah. Never. When I have a baby, I am going to be the best mother in the whole world. That's the last thing you need right now. Not necessarily. Tell me a lot. So no one's got two of everything, eh? Here it is. You want us to clean that? That's good of you to offer. Then we're going to decorate it out with the club colours. Are you joking? Are you laughing? I'm going to be in my office. Let me know when you're finished, because we've got a lot to do. Inside and out, please. Who do you think we are? Cleaners or something? It's not too bad. It won't take that long. Look at the size of it. Do you want to do it? Well, I can think of better things to do. Right. In that case... Where's the nearest car wash? That's better, darling. You're a brave girl and you look lovely. Where did all the other flowers go? I had to send most of them to the hospital. There was nowhere to put them. You should see the club. Bouquets and scarves all along Addison Road. Your dad had a lot more fans than we realised. I never told him, Mum. I never got to tell him how much I loved him. He knew Georgina. No, he didn't. He was so lonely. I was all he had, and I was so horrible to him. I don't believe that. That's true. What I thought about was myself. I never even realised what it was doing to him. I feel... I feel like I killed him. I can't believe you're even thinking about it. What if someone catches us? What if Frank catches us? You've only just got out of trouble, Warren. We'll both be chucked out of the club. It's madness even thinking about it. I'm sorry, but I'm not letting you do it. It's for your own good. Some people are their own worst enemies, and, and you need mates like me to protect you from yourself. You'll thank me for it someday. You what? Don't wanna talk about it. What do you want? It's a bit tricky. Oh, this is your usual rubbish. I'm not interested. It's about Noah. Oh, yeah. Look, I'm not meddling, and I'm not trying to ruin anything. And contrary to what you might think, I don't enjoy telling you this. Saw Noah last night with another girl outside Studs. Don't believe you. He was kissing her. I saw them. <laughs> You're making it up. You know you are. It's the truth. No, it's not. Noah was working yesterday. I happen to know that for a fact. Look, if this is just another one of your sad pranks that you and your little mate Vincent have dreamt up, it's not going to work, all right? Better luck next time, eh? Fine.
What are you doing now? Taking a shortcut. No, Warren. Warren, no! You can't! Watch me. No. Oh, don't, please. What? No. I'll be killed, Warren, Shut please. Up, Joe, huh? Warren! <laughs> Yeah, I was just getting ready. Yeah, well, don't bother. I've come to tell you you're excused for funeral duty. Well, it's going to be enough of a media circus without your presence making things worse. Right, brilliant. Thanks, boss. Uh, you know, I couldn't have faced it. Yeah, but I want you back on the training pitch tomorrow. And as soon as we can get things back to normal, the better. And you can start by cleaning this place up. I can't believe we're doing this. It was your idea. I think you had bad influence on me. It wasn't my idea. You said Frank would love it. I'm just trying to please the boss. But I thought that, um... You thought what? Just... Look, no, don't play games. Spit it out. Well, Mike Jacobs told me that I was never going to play for the first team again, and I thought you knew about it. Well, he never got around to saying anything to me. And lucky for you, he's uh, a six foot under, or he soon will be. Listen, lad, this cup tie against Blackburn weighs more with me than our late chairman's last wishes. So if you're match fit, you're in contention. I never knew something like this could go that fast. Now, just a test drive, mate. Got to make sure everything's in working order for this afternoon. It's a funeral, Warren, not a land speed record attempt. I'm surprised you even have a driving license. Well, actually, Oh, no, Warren. Tell me you're not serious. Warren, you really are crazy, aren't you? But if Frank finds out, he'll kill us. Oh, who needs a license anyway? I've been driving since I was 11. It's safe with me. I thought that I'm walking home. Well, that'll be the car. Are you ready? Yeah. <sighs> Will he be there, the, the footballer, Dean? I don't know. I doubt it. And you haven't told him yet? No. Good. Well, he's going to have to know sometime. It's his baby, too. I don't want to get into this conversation, not today. But... The funeral is going to be difficult enough. Hmm? Let's talk when all this is over, when we both feel a bit more sensible. Just promise me not to tell anyone about the baby, not until we've had a chance to sort things out. Come on, Con. Bet you got a buzz out of it. I suppose there's no harm done, is there? Uh, just a bit of gas, that's all. Well, Frank can't complain. It looks as good as new. Warren! The handbrake! It's locked! I can't find the keys! As good as new, you say? Is this really necessary? Yes, it is. I'm going to show that girl once and for all. She thinks I'm lying. She may let Noah get away with it, but I won't. Well, you'd better be right, otherwise Zoe will take you out, man. I'm right, and I'm going to get the proof now. Come on. We'll ask them if they know where he is. I can't believe this. All I did was ask you to clean the car. If I find out you've been messing about in this... Actually, Frank, it was my fault. I was cleaning the inside of the car and I must have knocked the handbrake off. It was an accident. An accident? Right. Well, you two are on toilet duty next week. I ask you to do a job, you don't take the proper care and you mess it up. Go on, get lost. You've done enough damage for one day. Go and learn some respect somewhere else. Frank's right, you know. Respect, man. <laughs> respect. Hello. What are you doing here? I'm on my way to the funeral. I'm, I'm early and uh, I wanted to have a word. Why? 
I wanted to make sure that you weren't thinking of going anywhere near the funeral or the wake. Well, during the queue, Frank's been on the phone and Ian Coates was round earlier warning me off. I just didn't want it to be any harder than it needed to be for Georgina and you. Oh, is that right? Well, you'll be pleased to know I have no intention of going anywhere near the funeral. It's better that way. Georgina's feeling pretty low and, well, I'm kind of looking out for her for Michael. Well, you got your hands full there. Yeah, I suppose so. Look, I shouldn't tell you this, but I've got to. You should know. You should talk it through together. It's... T talk what through together? What, who with? Georgina's pregnant. Look, I had to tell you, she didn't want me to, but it's not right. She needs help. She needs to talk to you. She's pregnant. <sighs> Don't do anything about it today. It's neither the time nor the place. I had to tell you. You can't come to the funeral. Why not? I'm entitled to pay my last respects like everybody else. Today is Stephanie and Georgina's day. And they won't want you there. And whatever that family's done to you, they are entitled to be able to bury that man in peace. What about my feelings? I need to say goodbye too, and how can it hurt them? Apart from you and Dean, nobody knows what happened between me and Michael. Listen, I don't want to ever talk about that, let alone even think about it. I've got no one. I've got nobody to talk to. And I killed him. What? What are you talking about? I hated him so much. I just lay in bed and I couldn't sleep and it was going round in my mind how I could hurt him. I wanted him dead and then the next morning he was dead. I had to interview the fans knowing that I'd wished him dead. And I couldn't feel anything. Come here. I wish your mum was here now. You're in awful pain. <laughs> you surprised me earlier, taking a blame like that. I mean, you didn't have to. Thanks, anyway. Yeah, well, I thought it was the right thing to do. I know Frank's keeping an eye on you at the minute. Yeah, but you live with the guy, man. I mean, I wouldn't fancy that at all. Yeah, well, I've no choice, really, do I? Listen, you know that stuff we talked about the other week when you threw up on Jacob's shoes? Yeah? I'm not gonna start on that list. I'm gonna get a place. What do you think? Fancy it? What? You wanna share with me? Well, I mean, you weren't my first choice. I'm pretty desperate. Couldn't afford it on my own. What do you reckon? Yeah, why not? That'd be great. All right, let's go. What? No. You got anything better to do? No. Uh -uh. This is boring. Could be worse. Frank and I made us go at the funeral. When do you reckon we'll get the results of that drug test? Look, don't even want to think about it. Got you, I knew it. Oh, saucy. What now, Inspector Morse? Now we present the evidence to the victim. I'm gonna get Zoe, you stay here. Uh, you're joking. No way. Oh, come on, mate. Don't you wanna get one over on Moses? All right. Look, I'll give you a ring in your mobile. Don't let them out your sight, all right? Come on. Please go away. This is a private funeral for family and friends. Stephanie, I'm sorry about your loss. Frank? And this must be Lucy. I must say, I'm rather surprised that you're here. Stephanie, we should go in now.
You okay, sweetheart? All we need now is that wretched Dean Hopman to turn this into a complete media circus. He won't come. I stopped by on the way here to make sure. You're obviously very persuasive. Come on, come on. I thought you said she was a raving alcoholic. She is. She must have got it together for this, for Georgina's sake. Which one of them two do you reckon is going to be the new boss? I beg your pardon? Well, from what I can make out, Jacobs was the majority shareholder. Now, one of those two girls is going to inherit. Who do you fancy working for? The soak or the schoolgirl? Not that I think it makes much difference. Neither knows a thing about football. Come on, you come with me now. What? Nobody calls me a liar. Your boyfriend's got a girl with him in his room now, and I can prove it. Like, come on. I don't believe you. Why are you doing this? Because he's a liar and a cheat, and you're going to get hurt. Now, get your coat on. I've got a cab waiting. We're going to the university. What, so you've been following him round, spying on him? Yes, I have, actually, yeah. Vincent's there watching him now. Him and his new bird. You have absolutely no right to interfere in my private life, and you have no right to spy on my friends. You've gone insane, Sean. If you say one more word to me about this, I'm going to get Dad to call Frank Patcham and have you kicked out of this house. You have totally overstepped the mark. You still don't believe me? No, I don't. Hello, Vincent. I'm still there. Right. Now, tell Zoe what you can see. I'm going to put her on, right? <clears throat> if this is just another sick joke, you better tell me now. What? You're a brave lad, Dino. Showing your face at the old man's funeral. Pay me respect like everyone else. Don't want any trouble. Yeah, I'm glad to hear it. I thought I told you not to come. Oh, looks like something's about to go down. Georgina? Oh, Lucy. What are you doing here? I just want to say how sorry I am. Whatever's happened in the past, I just... <laughs> God, I'm so sorry about your dad. Oh, thank you. I'm sorry too. Look, Lucy, I really never wanted to hurt you. I didn't mean for all of this to get into the papers. It's just such a mess. And it's my fault that dad's dead. It is all the stress that I caused him. It, it just killed him. No, you mustn't think like that. <laughs> That was a close one, wasn't it? I was expecting World War III. <coughs> Excuse me. I was looking for the library. You wouldn't happen to be going that way, would you? What's that smell? Just a bit musty, that's all. Windows probably ain't been open for quite a while. It stinks. Oh, don't be so soft. At least it's cheap enough. Oh, yeah, very reasonable. Certainly get what you pay for, eh? Must be desperate to leave home, yeah? Oh, I've got my reasons. Yeah, but this. What? I mean, it won't be that bad once we get it done up. I'm up for it. What about you? I'm really not feeling very well. Do you want me to take you outside? No, no, I'll be fine. I'm just sitting here some air. <laughs> Georgina, you all right? No, I think I'm going to be sick. Well, just put your head down and take some deep breaths and that. Look, do you want me to go and get your mum? No. No. I'm fine. Thanks. Um, look, I know. You know what? I know. Lynette told me. But she promised not to. Well, she only told me because she thought that you weren't... Oh, it's true, then. I mean, like, get pregnant. Yeah. Yeah, it's true. It's not one of your little tricks, is it? Dean, it's my father's funeral. Do you really think I'd be playing games with you today? Yeah, OK, OK. So, is it definitely mine? Of course it's yours. I didn't sleep with anyone else. Well, what do you want to do? I don't know. 
Don't know. What do you want me to do? I don't know. I, I can't advise you, man. I'm just trying to take it in at the moment, you know? <laughs> yeah, come on. It's all right. Hi, Georgina. There you are. I look after her now. I thought I told you to stay away from my daughter. Please leave. If you two are lying to me, you're dead. Simple as that. We're not lying. You can see for yourself he's in there with her now. Really? Yeah. Yes. Thank you. That was the last of the money my mum sent me. I don't know why he wanted a deposit anyway. No pets, no children. Oh, what? Is he afraid we're gonna muck up the place on him? No wind in Irishman. Yeah, but I'm broke now. Yeah, join the club, mate. I suppose I'd better see what I can do about getting a decent sound system in here then tonight. Oh, it's gonna be great, this. Now all I have to do is tell Frank. On Monday. Right, Luz. Lucy, let me take you home. Go away. Come on, you shouldn't have came here. Well, neither should you. Yeah, I don't see what either of us could gain from coming. Look, let's just go somewhere and talk. Eh? Huh? Oh, come on, I miss you so much. The flat's really empty without you. You know I can't stand being on my own. I thought I'd feel better if I came. <laughs> Except I feel a thousand times worse. Oh, I can't help thinking it's my fault that Mike died. How could it be our fault? I hated him so much for what he did. And he wasn't even to blame. I went there that night. I threw myself at him. I slept with him to hurt you, Dean. And I just ended up hurting myself. No, I'm not doing this. I don't care what you say. Zoe? Sean told me you got another woman in here. It's true. I told you. Zoe, meet Mum. Mum, meet Zoe. No. I'm, uh, it's really nice to meet you. Would you excuse me? I'll be back in a sec. I pity you, Sean. I really do. What is wrong with you? Why'd you wage this ridiculous campaign to ruin my relationship? Are you really that sad? Why don't you just get a life? Stay out of my... Well, I left you here to keep an eye on things. You weren't supposed to let the two of them out of sight. What happened, Vincent? I have, uh, got a gun. I just remembered something! I've already caught you. Yeah. Um, Frank, I'll take Lucy on. Wait there, Lucy. You slept with my father the night before he died. Georgina, I don't think this I is do. the time. I do. You have the nerve to come to me and cry all over me. She and my father, when you slept with him to get even with me. How dare you tell me that you with me? Please, please. How dare you tell me that you're sorry for the way I'm feeling when you caused it? You hypocrite. I caused it. No, you were the one that started this by sleeping with my fiance. You slut. Hey, hey, now that's hey, enough. Hey, that's enough. Who yeah. exactly that is are you enough calling now. a slut? I'm calling you a slut. You're a small little rich girl who thinks she can have anything she wants. But when you start playing little games like that, people are going to start fighting oh, back. Fine, Lucy. Let's have a fight. What a very good idea. Yes, baby. Hey, come here. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it, man. All he is, she's pregnant. Come on, bro. What? Yeah, come here. No, what are you? There's another action replay from Harchester, same time, tomorrow. There's a Christmassy feel next on Sky One as Joey finds himself barking up the wrong tree and Rachel is rejecting money. Is she mad? Evidently so, because that's what it says here. Friends then, shortly.